Miranda with Recipe.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an old-fashioned apple pie. Now this quintessential American dish is bursting with pleasantly tart apples and is perfectly, perfectly spiced and it's so easy to make. So let's get started. I have our ingredients all laid out here. We're going to start with six cups of thinly sliced peeled tart apples, one tablespoon of lemon juice, a half of a cup of granulated sugar, a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth of a cup of packed brown sugar, a half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, just a dash of ground cloves, and then also one tablespoon of butter or margarine. I have butter here. Now I also have um, the pastry for our double crust pie that we're gonna make, so I have those ingredients laid out too. That will come separately, but I wanted to show you everything that we'll have. So for that, we're going to do two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, two thirds of a cup of shortening, and a total of six tablespoons of cold water. So to start, we are going to put our apples in this large bowl here, and we're going to toss with our lemon juice. So just give this a nice, beautiful toss. And the lemon juice will keep this from browning while we prepare the rest. So let's just set this to the side. And in here we're going to put the sugar, the flour, the brown sugar, cinnamon nutmeg, and my cloves in here. So now we're just going to mix these together until it's nicely combined. The little clumps of anything just kind of use a wooden spoon and just kind of smush those down if you get any little clumps in here. Now let's combine these two together and toss and mix. So this can hang out to the side while we get started on our pie pastry. Okay, so now let's get started with our crust. So we're going to take our flour, add in our salt, give that like a nice little mix. Then we're going to add in the shortening. And you could either use like a little pastry blender here or you can just use these two, two knives like this. And we're just going to cut the shortening into the flour until the entire mixture just makes like little pea-sized crumbles. So we're just going to keep at this, mixing and mixing until we have those pea-sized crumbles. And then I'll tell you what to do next. So now we're going to grab our six tablespoons of cold water and we're just going to do about one tablespoon at a time. So you're just gonna plop it in and kind of like toss with a fork. And then just sort of push that to the side. And then we're just gonna keep going until all of the dough is nice and moist and we have perfect ready to roll out dough. So my dough is all done and I've split it into kind of two equal parts. So we're gonna put this one to the side because that will be the top of my pie. This is going to be the base of my pie crust. So I'm gonna roll this out now, um, about 12 inches in diameter. Now you could certainly use a regular like rolling pin, but if you don't have one of those or if you just wanna just get super fun with it, you can always use a wine bottle. So if you don't, you know, not everybody bakes a lot, not everybody has um, a rolling pin, so if not, just use this little wine bottle. Same thing. Um, so I'm gonna roll this out now, 12 inch in diameter. And once I'm all done, we'll come right back and we'll put it in the pie pan. So we're gonna transfer this to our pie plate. So just lift this up. Gently. Okay. Plop it in. So if you have any excess like overhanging edges, just trim those with, with kitchen shears. I didn't, so I'm good to go. Let's pour the apple mixture in here. Look how beautiful this is, all cinnamony and sugar. Yummy yumminess, oh my gosh, look at that. I want to eat it already, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait and let it bake. Okay. So now, kind of evenly spread this out so everybody gets a super yummy piece. Okay, and we're just gonna dot this with that one tablespoon of, of butter that I have. So I'm just gonna just grab my fingers and just Dot, dot, dot. This will keep it nice and moist. And we'll get, you know, all yummy, buttery, delicious. Okay. 
beautiful. Now we're going to make the top part of our crust, so set this off to the side. And then we're gonna do the same thing to this as we did to the first. Roll it out um, about 12 inches in diameter, and we'll be back when I've done that. The last step is to flute it. So to do that, you're literally taking two fingers like this, and you're kind of like squeezing them together, and then using your other finger, four finger, to kind of push in. So you're squeezing and sort of like pushing at the same time. And we're just gonna go around the edge and flute the entire edge, and then we'll be right back. So I'm all done with fluting the edges, and to prevent my crust from like over browning, I'm just gonna wrap the edges in aluminum foil. So I'm just gonna kind of cover. Don't press down, but you just wanna cover. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's been preheated at 375 degrees. I'm gonna let it cook for 25 minutes, remove the foil, and then continue cooking for another 20 to 25 until it's nice, golden brown, and cooked. So we're gonna pop it in the oven and we'll come back when it's all cooked and ready to serve. Okay, so our apple pie is out of the oven and you guys should smell this. Like if we could just bottle the smell and sell it, I think we would all be millionaires. You could serve this warm, of course, sprinkled with a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and it will be so tasty delicious. The combination of the sweet, sweet apple pie with a kind of sharp cheddar is a really delicious pairing. So you did it. Now you know how to make perfectly delicious, homemade, old fashioned apple pie. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.